Hello, my name is Cutter Shea, and I'm a sales engineer for Faro. Today I'd like to share with you the new improvements for the Scan Localizer. You may already be aware that 3D documentation is an emerging standard in the fields of architecture, engineering, construction, forensic fields, and public safety. Initial scan placement is a challenge of registration. When scanning indoors without the assistance of GPS, you can see from the screenshot here that these dozen scans are stacked on top of each other. Faro's previous solution to initial scan placement was top view registration, one of the many steps in a technical workflow which we aim to improve. Another challenge for automatic registration is symmetrical or repetitive architecture. This issue is compounded by the lack of initial scan placement. As you can see from the floor plan here, all the exterior rooms are identical. Without initial scan placement information, the failure rate for automatic registration of a point cloud for this floor plan is near 100%. With a few creative ideas and the technology at hand, the developers at Faro Technologies decided that top view registration was the step to eliminate to creating a more efficient workflow. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Ferro Scan Localizer. Through the combined use of laser distance readings and an inertia measurement unit, the localizer utilizes SLAM technology, an acronym standing for Simultaneous Localizing and Mapping. A recent firmware update has brought many improvements to the localizer. A streamlined Wi-Fi connection, more robust localizing, greater tolerance of disruptions from moving, smooth integration to your field scanning workflow, and Faro eliminated the need to purchase an additional software license to operate the localizer. Connecting to the localizer through PC, Android smartphone, or Apple iPhone is simple. When the localizer is turned on, it emits its own Wi-Fi signal. Go to your settings menu and select the localizer network, the network name will be the localizer's serial number. After entering Faro's top secret password, open your web browser and go to scanlocalizer.faro.com. You want to accept the certificate and the exception. And then you're ready to go. After connecting to the localizer's Wi-Fi network and navigating to its home page, you're ready to begin a new project. As soon as you name your project and click Create, the screen jumps to the 2D floor plan visible by the localizer. Go to your chosen position and initiate scanning from the touchscreen user interface. At this point, the scanner begins to rotate as usual, but the localizer stays in its fixed position to the tripod. When finished, proceed to the next position. Notice how the operator carries the system in an upright position from the rear of the localizer. Blocking the view of the laser or excessive tilting will result in loss of localization. On the right side of the screen, notice the real-time mapping that occurs when moving to a new position. Scans may also be initiated from your portable Wi-Fi device. Scan and localizer data is saved on the SD card. After completing all scans, Simply remove the SD card, place it into your workstation, and process the data in scene. Once scene is open, begin transferring the data by selecting the project to import. The operator could immediately load the scans and start working. However, processing the scans allows for optimized point cloud viewing, faster loading, and more efficient workflow. When processing is finished, you can see the point cloud by clicking the Explore tab at the top of the screen. 
to the untrained eye, we have what appears to be a registered point cloud when in fact these are two scans that populated in their approximate locations because of the scan localizer. The accuracy of the localizer, and therefore the placement of the scans, is good to a few inches. Finishing with cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration ensures maximum accuracy of the point cloud. Remember, the scan localizer was created to eliminate top view registration, so be warned, selecting top view registration will erase all localizer data. Upon completion of cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration, you can visually check the point cloud and reference the registration report offered by scene. Point errors of less than one millimeter are highly accurate, as one millimeter is approximately one thirty-second of an inch. That's the basic gist of how to operate the localizer, but let me share some of its specifications. The localizer is accurate to a few inches, has a range around 100 feet, 3 hours of battery life, a weight of 13.5 pounds, and depending on the environment, up to 60 feet of Wi-Fi range. These are the few software requirements to operate the localizer. Scene 6.0 or newer must be installed on your workstation. Currently, the localizer is compatible with Pharaoh's S120, X30, X130, and X330 models. Compatibility with our newest S150 and S350 scanners will be available soon. Also, the localizer will only work with Chrome, Firefox, or Safari web browsers. Internet Explorer will be available in short time. Another requirement for owning the scan localizer is to be a member of Pharaoh's early adopter program. The early adopter program is for heavy users, enthusiastic customers, or technical critics willing to test out new technology. To apply, please visit faro.com slash early adopter. Another limitation of the localizer is that it can only be used at one level at a time. Should you finish your single level of scanning, save the current clusters of scans, break your Wi-Fi connection, take some non-localized scans between floors, that way you have overlapping and connecting data. Then, when you're up on your next level, connect to the localizer, start a new cluster, and continue scanning as normal. Later on in the scene, the two different clusters of scans can be brought together in a unified point cloud. The localizer was designed for indoor use, so it needs to be surrounded by large landmarks, such as walls. Taking the localizer outside will prove most challenging unless you can maintain landmark enclosure. An auxiliary use for the localizer is creating 2D floor plans without the use of a scanner. Connect to the localizer, go to scanlocalizer.faro.com, define a project name, and begin walking through your environment. If operating the localizer through a smartphone, pictures can be taken and recalled by clicking the picture icon left on the floor map. Again, notice how the operator holds the localizer from the rear in an upright position. To access your saved 2D floor maps, first connect to the localizer's Wi-Fi. After a successful connection, open a Windows browser and navigate to backslash backslash scanlocalizer.faro.com to access your projects. Now that your 2D projects are on your hard drive, open the 2D floor mapper program and load the 2D projects. The project can then be exported as a PNG, scaled TIFF, JPEG, or BMP file. These pictures can then be opened in external programs such as AutoCAD. Once in the AutoCAD environment, use the image attach command to import the picture. Make sure that your settings and units are correct. 
Ferro 2D Zone is a software that allows measurements, annotations, and drawings to be added to the 2D floor map. By adding initial placement data to scans, eliminating top view registration, and the rapid creation of 2D floor maps, the Ferro Scan Localizer will give confidence to beginner scanners and embolden experienced users to take on larger projects. We all want to throw a victorious fist in the air when a project comes together, and the Localizer will do just that. Thank you for joining me on this reintroduction of the Ferro Scan Localizer.